Hey there, my name's Chris Winter, and in this video, I've got my brand new Canon M50, and I wanna share with you some of the things that I really love about this camera. Now, uh, I've had this for a few months, and uh, it's been a bit of an eye-opener for me because uh, Canon's mirrorless line really is quite impressive, and I do like this camera. So, uh, yeah, like I said, in this video, I wanna share with you a couple of things that I really do like about the Canon M50. And guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the best budget 4K cameras. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video and you can take a look. But anyway, let's talk about those things that I like about the Canon M50. So the first thing that I really like about the Canon M50 uh, is its small size. It is an incredibly small uh, camera, especially if you're coming from the likes of a Canon 80D, a Canon 77D, or even a full frame camera like a Canon 6D Mark II. When you get it in your hand, you're really gonna be quite shocked. Now, uh, I've got it paired up right now with the Canon 15 to 45 millimeter lens, and that itself is also a really small lens. So uh, if you think of something like a Canon Nifty 50, the 50 millimeter f1.8, that itself is a really small lens. This 15 to 45 is much smaller. So I'll just take it off quickly here. I don't want to uh, get the sensor too dirty or anything, but that's the 15 to 45. It really is quite tiny. And being able to pair up a lens with quite good range with the Canon M50 really is a nice thing to have. There are some trade-offs with having a smaller body. The grip isn't great, um, but once you get used to that, I really have found that having a smaller body is something that you're really gonna like, especially if you're gonna be traveling or if you're gonna be holding your camera for a longer period of time, having the smaller body on the Canon M50 really is great. The 15 to 45 millimeter lens is really nice. One thing I don't particularly like, and this is one of those things that you get when you have a smaller uh, lens, is that you actually have to flick out this lock switch and then twist the lens whenever you want to use it. I do find that sometimes that slows me down if I'm trying to take a, a quick shot because the M50's got a pretty quick turn on time, but then having to switch the lens as well, that can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, but other than that, I really do like the small size of the M50 and the fact that they've even fit in a fully articulating screen on a smaller sized uh, body really does uh, say a lot about the design of this camera. The next thing that I really like about the Canon M50 is the fact that we've got dual pixel autofocus uh, in video mode, but there is a big caveat here. Uh, dual pixel autofocus is only when you're shooting 1080p. Once you shoot in 4K, the autofocus isn't dual pixel and it's not as good, uh, but in 1080p mode, which is generally what I shoot in for most of my stuff, or if you're gonna be vlogging and things like that, generally I'm gonna be shooting in 1080p, it works super, super well. Now I've used dual pixel on so many different cameras, the Canon 60 Mark II, the 80D, the 70D, I'm actually using it right now on my Canon 70D, and I really love it. And I was wondering whether or not Canon would be able to bring it over to their mirrorless line well, and I can say it works really, really well, especially with uh, their kind of newer lenses as well, it really does work great. And I'll talk about this a little bit more, but one thing that is really, really cool is that even if you use an adapter, uh, EOS M2 EFS adapter, for example, it still works really well with the dual pixel autofocus. It's cinematic and it works great. Another thing that I really like about the Canon M50 is that we get 4K video recording. Now there are definitely some issues with the 4K video recording. Uh, firstly, you don't get dual pixel autofocus, which kind of sucks because it's really nice and you do get a crop. Now the way around that is to be shooting with a wider lens, but it's definitely something that you do need to know, especially if you're gonna be vlogging, I've found. Uh, this is a really popular vlogging camera, but if you are gonna be shooting in 4K, uh, you don't really wanna be having your image too cropped uh, in, uh, with this camera because you're just gonna be getting your face all up in the, in the shot. So uh, I generally would recommend shooting in 1080p if you're gonna be vlogging with this camera. You're gonna be getting that awesome autofocus and you're gonna be getting uh, no crop on your shot. So overall though, the 4K image quality is really, really good. You just need to know the limitations. Now, like I said before, you can actually get an adapter with the Canon M50 and it works really quite well. And this was definitely something I was a little bit worried about investing a little bit of money into an adapter. These are about $150, but this is it right here. And what this essentially allows you to do is use your standard DSLR Canon lenses on your mirrorless camera. And that's definitely one of the, the benefits of having an adapter like this because the EOS M lens lineup isn't that strong. So uh, essentially all you need to do is put this onto the camera and you can use pretty much all of your lenses. 
and it actually worked really quite well. One thing I was a little bit worried about was whether or not the autofocus would work well on the Canon M50, for example, if I was gonna use an STM lens, am I still gonna get that good quality autofocus, especially in video mode? Uh, and I'm very happy to say that it works really, really well. Nearly as good as something like a Canon 80D. In fact, I couldn't actually tell a difference. It does work really well. Now, if you're gonna be using a lens that's not an STM lens, I don't think the autofocus is gonna work just as well, but it still does work really quite well. And you can still keep the package size really uh, quite small, even with the adapter. So uh, if you are gonna be getting the Canon M50, I would probably recommend purchasing this because it especially uh, if you've got other lenses from Canon because it actually does work really quite well. Another thing that I really like about this camera, and it's something that I was talking about before, is that even though we've got a very small body right here, literally that deep, uh, we still have a full articulating flip screen, which is something that I think that Canon probably do better than most other companies, maybe Panasonic do really well as well. Uh, but it means that you can actually flip the camera all different ways, sorry, flip the uh, screen all different ways so you can actually see yourself if you're gonna be doing some uh, filming by yourself like I'm doing right now. You can flip it in, you can flip it up. So if you're gonna be taking photos from high up, down below, you can also even flip it in when you're gonna be traveling. And then we've got a nice tougher kind of protection here, which is great so you don't scratch your screen when you're traveling. Uh, they could have easily not put in a full, fully articulating screen on this camera and I don't think it would have been as good, but they have done it and I think it's really good. So that's definitely another positive that I've found with the Canon M50. It's just really nice to have that. It's also a touch screen as well. These days, I think that pretty much all cameras should have a touch screen. It doesn't hurt, it's not unprofessional, and it just makes a lot of things a lot easier. Changing your menus is a lot easier. And if you need to tap to focus, it really does work well, especially with that dual pixel autofocus. It's one of my favorite little features on the Canon M50. And one last little thing, which I didn't expect to be really good, was actually the battery life on the Canon M50. Now, it uses a different type of battery than a lot of other Canon cameras, because it's a smaller camera, of course. Uh, we're gonna be using the Canon LPE12, which is a bit of a random battery, but I actually found it works really quite well. Now, in video mode, again, it's gonna be a little bit less, but that's to be expected. Um, it, it, uh, in stills mode, it worked really quite well. So that's one thing that I do like. I would always recommend getting an extra battery, especially for a smaller camera like this. This isn't gonna to be to the level of like the LPE6 batteries that you would see on the Canon 6D or the 5D. But overall, I found that the battery life is really quite good. Uh, and it's definitely something that you're probably not gonna to have to worry about when you're uh, shooting with a Canon M. So that were just a couple of things I really liked about the Canon M50. And guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the best budget 4K cameras. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video. You can take a look. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video that I make about the Canon M50. Should be a few.